Hey y'all, welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing good. Let me tell you what I got on the menu, honey. I got some homemade fried wings. I got some good old sliced uh, English cucumber. And I got me some sweet, sweet butter. Butter, 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 rice. Coconut rice, that is. I had to put some uh, parsley on it so y'all can see it. You can probably see it. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorites. And for condiments, I have some Hidden Valley Ranch, cilantro lime, good old Louisiana hot sauce, some of this good old mesquite, 100% raw honey. So how are you guys doing today? How are you feeling? I'm doing good. Doing really good. I hope everybody had a good Labor Day weekend. Oh, I hope you were able to see my video before. We made some popcorn. The old fashioned one, y'all. Oh, oh. Need that back, y'all. This was a 10 piece, but I started eating, munching. All right. Mm hmm. Uh-uh. Yeah, y'all. We got a topic. We kind of went over it a little bit, but. Me and some co-workers were talking about it. Let's get a little bit to eat. I want to hear your opinion on it. Mm -mm -mm. So. Topic is. If you work in healthcare. Or if you work in a. Okay. If you work with an organization that works with people and your coworkers want to um don't want to get the vaccine and they wouldn't come up with all these uh medical exemptions or religious exemptions. And don't want to get the vaccine. After uh, your job is said is mandatory. <clears throat> I mean, with exceptions, you got people who are mad <clears throat> because they don't want to. They work with these patients anymore and they don't want to get the vaccine. What do you think they should do? Mm. I mean, I've got co workers who are raging mad. And my thing is this you don't have to work for the company. And I was giving them this scenario you can refuse to take the uh, vaccine. Or say you don't refuse to take the vaccine, you can't take it because maybe you're going through cancer or your immune system's not strong enough or something like that. Then your job can, um, if they have the capacity, they can actually reassign you to do another job function. Now, of course, that's only going to be temporary. Because um, quite often, if you are a licensed personnel, and you're doing, they reassigned you to do a non-licensed function. At some point, human resources is going to say, or somebody's going to say to human resources, we need to change this person's uh, job title. So I'll give you an example. Say you're working as a nurse. Due to health issues, you now no longer can can take the vaccine and so I say you can't work with patients. Okay. Okay. With that being said, they may have signed you to be a monitor tech.
Okay. But after so long, these companies ain't gonna want to pay you. Nurse pay to be a monitor. Well, I shouldn't say the companies don't. There's gonna be some one of your coworkers. It's gonna bring it up. And then human resources gonna look into it. You know. And eventually, <clears throat> if you can't perform your job function, you'll be reassigned, demoted, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so a lot of people think pulling this religious exemption card is going to help them out. Is that? It's going to uh, do you uh, in service for uh, later on in life. And people don't understand that. People are just so upset about what for whatever reason. Don't want to take it. Being in Texas, I think what a lot of them forget is <clears throat> this is a right to work state. At any time, they can turn around and look at you and say, These services no longer needed. And believe me, there are plenty of agencies, FEMA, people waiting to step in. And good job with that was. So. My argument was this. <clears throat> if you're not vaccinated. I don't want you working with my family. If they're sick in hospital. Because I can tell you this. Without certain. With 100% certainty. If you're a healthcare provider. I can see. And you work. Neonatal unit. Pediatric unit. Or with kids period. You gonna be vaccinated. That's one area. They don't play. It ain't no exception. It ain't no medical exemption. It ain't no religious exemption. You can take your medical exemption, your religious exemption, and skedaddle. They don't play when it comes to kids. They do not play. <clears throat> and I feel like this. If I have family members in the hospital sick, I want the staff taking care of them to be just like those pediatric nurses and therapists. Why are you acting a fool about this um, vaccine? That's fine. If you don't want to take it, that's fine. Totally fine. But keep in mind, there's consequences to all your actions. But I don't, those type of people, with those type of decision making skills, take care of my family. Just for simple fact, if you don't, you, you don't really think the coronavirus is that serious. And that's okay for you and your family. 
But as for me and mine, I need for you to work that out. That's what I need. There's so many people who are unvaccinated, still working at the hospital, going out partying, bringing coronavirus to the hospital, to the patients. <clears throat> and that's what they don't seem to understand. That's what it's about. But I can promise you this much. <clears throat> if anybody who's working with kids <clears throat> are <clears throat> trans. <clears throat> if you're working with kids, are the transplant unit, I can promise you, with absolute certainty, your social medias are being monitored. And let them see you after acting a fool. You can consider your job gone. Because you're putting too many people at risk. I don't care if you're wearing a mask or not. What I know about pedi uh, pediatricians and kids doctors, they don't play when it comes to their patients at all. They don't play no games. It ain't no, oops, my bad. No. They're not, they're not set up like that. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do you think people refuse to take the vaccine or we should say people who are unable to take the vaccine are declined to take the vaccine. Do you think they should be fired or reassigned? What? What are your thoughts? Yeah, let me know in the comment section. I say reassign them to do another job. There's always stuff. They might be doing housekeeping. They might be working in the kitchen. And then after 90 days, if they still aren't able to do their function or if this mess isn't over, do them to that position. I say fair is fair. This is the right to work. We have to put our patients our priority when you're at work. And you work in the hospital. Y'all got sleepy all of a sudden. And patient safety is a priority. So, for me... You do what you want to do, but don't be uh, living a reckless life and working in healthcare because you might bring something to my family member. Or me, as a co-worker, this happened. That has definitely happened. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comment section because I just think it's bullshit. So, don't forget to wear your mask, wash your hands, and wash your ass. Stay running free, y'all. We're going to talk about this new variant that's coming out, okay? Next video. My video's kind of long now. Y'all stay blessed. Bye.